Welcome back to the All Seasons channel. Today, Cameron and I are going to start on this horse trailer that we did the uh, intro video on there a couple weeks ago. And um, we're going to start with the landing gear. We're going to get the uh, get the old landing gear off there and get the new uh, electric over hydraulic one on. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started and uh, we're going to take y'all along. So we just got the horse trailer sitting on jack stands. Got the weight off the, off the old landing gear. Um, We've actually already took the nuts off the bolts. Uh, it's held on with six stainless steel bolts. Uh, we got to get the crank handle off here next, and uh, then we'll get this old jack off of here and uh, get ready to put the new one on. Uh, we won't be able to really uh, finish it up today because I have to uh, somewhere on this wall. I've got to make a. A place to mount uh, two batteries. The gentleman wanted two 31 series batteries on the front of it. Um, the control panel for the for the landing gear is going to be really simple. It will just flush mount right here somewhere. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, like I said, we already got the nuts off those bolts. Uh, going to get the crank handle off, and then uh, we're going to get the old one off. Just get these two bolts out of this rod. Two for two, dropping the washers. Oh. <coughs> All right, should be able to just pull the handle out. And there we have the old crank handle. All right, we already got the, so the bolts loose. Let me see if this thing will pull off here. Might have to take the spare tire off because it's kind of hitting the spare tire. Yeah, I believe we're gonna have to take the spare tire loose. So there we have one old manual landing gear. Here's the old landing gear. Here's the new one. It's laying on the side. Uh, we're going to have to trim these brackets because they're too wide to fit in the place where the landing gear needs to go. So these brackets here are about a seven and an eighth. So we're going to have to cut. So I've got this one marked. We're going to have to cut these down to around seven and an eighth. Uh, so that uh, we can mount this new new jack landing gear, whatever. In order to make this bracket the right width, I'm just going to use a cutoff wheel on the, the old angle grinder. And uh, we'll just tape a few minutes of this because we're going to get these four brackets cut to size and go from there. We're just going to be doing a whole lot of that in about probably for the next half hour, so we'll get back with you. Now we just took junk, jumper wires up to the to the uh, new landing gear from a battery. Um, Use the remote. All we done was uh, got it raised up to about where we want it. The jack does uh, the brackets I had to cut down. They do fit back in there just fine. So we're just going to finish raising this thing up. I think two of the bolt holes will work. Okay, yep, the two bottom holes are going to work. The rest of them will have to drill. Um, you know what? It's probably actually going to be easier to mark these holes and drill them from out here rather than drill them from inside blindly. So Cameron's actually going to go get me a black Sharpie, and we'll get these holes marked, and then we'll pull this back out of the way. 
All right, we got all these holes marked. We're just going to get this uh, landing gear out of the way, drill, drill some holes. Put it right there and lean it back so it don't fall over. Probably lean it back a little bit more. Perfect. While Cameron goes and blows his nose and gets a drill on the drill bits, I'll show you that remote real quick. Um, it's got a key so you can lock it and unlock it. Just up and down, just a flush mount thing. Um, so it's really cool. Uh, so it'll be really easy to mount. We'll just mount it on the front of the trailer where you can easily reach it from standing outside up here. So, so yeah, we're gonna get these holes drilled and uh, we'll be right back at you. All right, we got, uh, we got four of our holes drilled. Um, we'll drill the others later because they are actually just gonna stretch those holes a little bit. So we'll do them from the inside. There you go, just hold in on them. Let me raise this thing up. Okay. Huh? It's stuck yeah, I got the jack hang on. Oh, okay. Bring me two lock washers and two nuts. All right, that's basically it today. Um, we don't have enough hardware. The guy wants all stainless steel hardware on the outside of the, the uh, horse trailer, and I don't have a whole. Uh, that battery died. So um, yeah, I don't know what I got. Uh, we got we got the uh, jack stuck up there. Uh, we need more hardware. Um, some of the bolts that come out of that old jack had longer shoulders and too too long a shoulder. So we've got to get some more uh, stainless steel bolts. And um, didn't really expect to get much done today. Um, really need to get a material list together, uh, get some more hardware. I uh, got to get some aluminum, um, some flat aluminum plate to build brackets out of. So we're going to go do all that and uh, we'll catch back up with you later. This is actually several days later. Uh, me and Cameron's been working off and on on these uh, brackets to hold the uh, batteries on the front of the trailer. Um, we're going to go get these mounted here in a minute and uh, we'll show you what they look like. We've got two of them, one for each battery. They look just alike. Uh, they'll mount on the trailer like this and then the battery goes up here and straps, straps on. So we're going to go get these mounted. Um, We'll probably set the camera up out here if I got anything to say while we're mounting them. I might do that, but yeah, we're going to get these mounted so we can get the uh, landing gear uh, finished up and uh, get it off them jack stands. And then we're going to move on. I um, also built this bracket for the uh, propane bottles. I know we're not working on the propane system yet, but while I'm showing you the brackets we've made, uh, I'll just go ahead and show you those. Uh, this is going to mount on the front of the trailer underneath, very, very similar to what the... Uh, the spare tire um, bracket looks like that was done at the factory. Uh, that, except mine's just a whole lot heavier because it's gonna be holding two uh, 30 pound propane bottles. So, all right, we're gonna keep on moving. Actually, after we thought about it a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and put the propane bracket on and uh, stick the tanks on. That way we know exactly where to put our uh, battery boxes. And yes, we could measure it, but in my world, it seems like it works best if you figure less and just deal with absolutes. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and just mount the propane bottles and then we'll mount the battery boxes. All right, the other one. Yeah, he's absolutely no reason to put two more bolts in that thing. All right, we got the plate mounted, the bracket mounted, and uh, now we're gonna set the tanks up there and uh, make sure everything looks good. We were gonna put four bolts in this bracket, but we got two in the front and I'm gonna weld this here. So that's gonna be plenty sufficient because it's gonna put two more on the back, but all the pressure's down. So there's really no reason to put 
two more bolts in it. You got the heavy one, didn't you? Yep. Thanks, thanks for giving me the light one. Okay. All right, let's take the bolts off. Just a couple self-tappers here. Just a couple self-tappers hold this base on. I'm actually gonna put a third one. Why not? We got the propane bottle setting in here and it's a good thing we did because man, things are a lot tighter in here than we thought they were gonna be. Um, so everything has to go on this side because over here is the spare tire. Um, so it, there's no, no room over there. So everything has to go, propane bottles and both batteries has to go right here. So. So we've only got got a very limited amount of space to work with here. It's like any other RV, right? <laughs> no room for nothing. Um, so we've got we've got a preliminary mark here to uh, to drill a hole to to mount one of these brackets on one of these battery box brackets. Um, we're just doing some more thinking here and. Uh, and then we're gonna drill a hole. We're gonna go ahead and cut this thread of rod off an inch. It goes, you know, the nut that holds the tanks on. Uh, that'll give us another inch of clearance. Every inch counts, right? All right, we got, we got a hole drilled, so we're pretty committed. What we're trying to do is make everything work together here, because you'll be able to get the tanks in and out. And I wanted to drop the battery boxes as low as I could so you could get the batteries in and out without too much difficulty. So, uh, so yeah, just, uh, it's all tight. Just like I say, just like any other RV, you're just trying to use, use the space you got. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, start bolting these on. All right, we're just gonna snug it up a little bit. All right, do some measuring here. Man, that's like perfect. First try. All right, we'll snug that one up a little bit. Okay, do some measuring here. All right, that's nice. Got our brackets mounted up here. Battery boxes go in good. You can slip the batteries. You'll be able to slip them in and out like that. Or you can take the lid off. So, actually turned out pretty nice. It's a little tight right here for the nut, but hey, it is what it is. Next thing to do is uh, start wiring this stuff and uh, get our remote mounted for our landing gear and get this all wrapped up, get our cover on the landing gear and be awesome. We'll be back in just a little bit. All right, we've got everything mounted here. We're gonna go ahead and put our batteries in our boxes so we can get our uh, length on our battery cables and start making uh, battery cables. I might need some help. Oh, them suckers is heavy. Of course, you can get yours all by yourself, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll just double check, make sure it's positive, positive. Same size. Yep. Okay. All right, next is we're going to mount the remote to the wall out here, and uh, then we need to run just a ground cable from the battery to the chassis. And this will be all wrapped up. Ended up putting the uh, remote up here 
I was thinking about putting it uh, right down here, but I don't know if you can see, but that's where all the mud goes when you when you get your truck in a muddy spot. So that might not have been good. So we hit it, put it up here out of the way so it would be protected. So um, really that's about all we got to do. We got to hide some of this. We got to hide this wire. I'm not going to cut it off because I don't want any joints in the middle of it. But uh, so we'll figure out what we're going to do with that wire. We'll hide it somewhere and uh, run a ground cable. And then uh, we're basically done with the uh, landing gear. Get a cover on and uh, wrap this thing up. So uh, we'll let you uh, see it go up and down here in a few minutes and, and that'll about do us. All right, we don't have our wiring wrapped up and stuff yet, but uh, I'm going to let you see it go up and down. That's pretty sweet. That thing's pretty quick. That's, I think he's really gonna like that. So there you have it. Um, I don't know what this is gonna look like. This has been videoed over two week period, three different days or something, four different days, I don't know, but anyhow. I'll try and pass something together. That's putting a electric over hydraulic landing gear on your horse trailer. Uh, if, if you already had an electric landing gear, it would be pretty straightforward, but we had to build battery boxes, mount battery boxes, because there, no, there was no batteries mounted on this thing from the get-go. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, we had to do all that. And uh, anyhow, hey, uh, we're just gonna put the cover on that thing and uh, wrap up some wiring, we're done. So uh, if, if you made it this far, please, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to give us the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. Uh, leave us a comment, criticism, concern. Tell us how you would have done it. Because um, I'm sure Cameron messed up something and y'all probably caught it. So, so let him know, Cameron, dude, you, 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 you messed up, man. You gotta do better, so. I know I did something. Yeah, I mean, I know I didn't, yeah. I didn't make any mistakes. Other, other than I, Told my thumb up yesterday. It's it's hurting. But anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. And me and Cameron, uh, we're going to stay here and work on something else. But you guys have a fantastic day. You snotting everywhere, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Go get a clean accent. That'd be awesome. Talk to the... Uh, we're going to...